This is Neil Rotnow Rock Doc here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock with support from Transcendental and my friend, the amazing dentist and rock star Bruce Milner. Visit Transcendental, his stunning new office at 2 Maverick Road on the corner of Maverick Road and Route 375. Born on September 14, 1963, Amy Winehouse reached an unparalleled level of success in her short 27 years. Winehouse was known for her deep, expressive contralto vocals and her eclectic mix of musical genres, which included soul, rhythm and blues, reggae and jazz. Her father, Mitch, often sang Frank Sinatra songs to her, and whenever she was chastised at school, she would sing Fly Me to the Moon before going up to the headmistress to be told off. Many of the songs on Amy's first album were influenced by jazz, and apart from two cover versions, every song was co-written by Winehouse. The album, titled Frank, received positive reviews, with vocal comparisons to Sarah Vaughan, Macy Gray, and others. After the release of Frank, Winehouse's focus shifted to the girl groups of the 1950s and 1960s. Her hairdresser, borrowed her distinctive beehive hairdo from the Ronettes, and she borrowed her Cleopatra makeup from the same group. In addition, Amy hired New York singer Sharon Jones's longtime band, the Dap Kings, to back her up in the studio and on tour. Winehouse and producer Mark Ronson both shared a publishing company, and an introduction was arranged. The two met and began walking down a street in Soho, And as Mark relates, Amy began telling him a story about herself. There was this time when I was like drinking a lot and my family and my manager and all these people came over to my house and they tried to make me go to rehab. And I was like, no, no, no. And like did the put the hand, talk to the hand gesture. And I was like, because she was talking about it as such a removed thing and she was in such a good state when I met her. Right. I was like, oh, this is just a funny anecdote. Like. And uh, I was like, I hate writing songs around a gimmick, but you know, like there's something catchy about what you just said. You want to just go back to the studio and like maybe try and turn that into a song. So she didn't recognize it necessarily as a song. She says, yeah, they t- try to get me to go to rehab. And I said, no, no, no. Yeah. And all of a sudden you look at each other and go, hey, maybe that's a lyric. Yeah. Is that how it works? She said it with its rhythm and it sounded hooky. Like she just goes, and I was like, no, no, no. And I was just like let's just try it so she we went back to the studio she went she was always so fast the way she wrote she's like she comes back in like 30 minutes and she's like i got this song and it was kind of like just the music or the words she had the words in the music and it was like a slow kind of blues like they tried to make me go to and i you know i'm always thinking like a little poppy like can we speed it up can we make it dance yeah you like leader of the pack can we go like boom boom, she's like all right yeah we can try it The song Rehab was released in 2006 as the lead single from Amy's album Back to Black. It was both a commercial and critical success, winning three Grammys in 2008, Song of the Year, Record of the Year, and Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. Okay, let's listen. From the album Back to Black, Amy Winehouse and Rehab. 